Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how I've made this spinning card. So I just popped it in the envelope just so you can see it fits into a six by six. I'm actually going to swap the panels over so that you'll have this panel on the front, this embossed one. And then you open it up and when they open it, this will spin because I wound it up before I put it in the envelope. And then it will stand up and you've got this little spinning card and it's really fun you've got the space on the back there to be able to write your message and I'll show you another way that you can turn this into like a box style but I already have one very similar on the channel already and I will link those up there because you may want to have a little closer look but I will touch on that later on but it's a really fun design I've used my jungle animals and papers for this one and then I made this during a Facebook live so I've added the flowers which I said I would do and along the bottom there as well made all the backgrounds so if you want to see how I made this card from scratch and got this beautiful shimmer and all the ink and the embossed effect then you can see that from the very beginning on the Facebook live but I've already done it and got it all ready to go for this one so let's get started so I'm going to be using my circle dies for the aperture but you can have any shape that you want the papers are from the six by six it's the swing card jungle scenes paper pad I will link everything as always in the description box so I use the Just Hanging Around stamp set and I use the little ape here and you can buy the dies as well if you want those. And then for today's card, I'm going to use the orangutan and that's from the Just uh, Just Chilling stamp set. So there's some really nice cards that I've made with that and I'll link those again in this video and towards the end. These are the leaves and the flowers. I've put them both together on my magnetic sheet here and that's what I've used to decorate the sides there of the card. And then this is the leafy background embossing folder. So you can see these here. And again, you can see that lovely shine. The colours I used are the oxide ink. So I used the mowed lawn, twisted citron and cracked pistachio. And then I sprayed it with this old Perfect Pearls mist and it's the biscotti colour. But any of your mist, you know, shimmer mists and stuff will look lovely. So that's all the product that I've used. And I've gone ahead and cut everything here. See my uh, orangutans there ready as well. And then I've got all of those bits and the papers. So for the card, you want one piece of six by 12, but you can use uh, your A4 length or your letter paper size. So if it's 11 inches, that will work as well. I'll talk you through the score lines for that. So this is a piece of 12. Along that long side, you're going to score it three, six and nine i would then flip the card and score it three and nine again okay now if you want to do that box kind of style cut another piece of this one you will cut your aperture in like i've done on this one but the other one you'll just leave like this and you can just stick it onto the back so you'll have this box style but what you will find is when you fold it it's going to be bigger than the six by six size. It will probably be more like a six by eight and you can get those envelopes and you can make boxes for those as well. So you can do it that way if you want. You'll see you get that fun shape. And if you don't add the score lines and just make it so it's a normal six by six card like so, then you can have it so it's just like that shape. And I've got these on my channel. I've done these ones. And this shape I done as the interlock card. So all of those just Type in the names if I haven't linked them in this video and you'll find those versions. But that's how you can add that extra bit on and change the way it looks slightly. If you've got 11 or the A4 length, just find the halfway marker. Score it halfway and then score half of that side on each one. Okay, You'd, you just want four equally spaced panels. I've then got this piece here. Now, during the Facebook Live, I, I knew what I wanted to do in my head. I was a little bit tired, so I decided to go the long way around to get to the final result. But um, all you need to do is cut yourself a piece of five and a half by five and three quarter. The five and a half, five and a half needs to be the width, okay? And we're gonna, in a minute, we're gonna cut it in half, but not yet. I want to cut my circle out of this first. I've then got four pieces, two in this pattern here, and then two in the mirrored, and then one I've already stamped that on, which is where I'll write my message there for the other side. These are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay, so you want to decide where you want to cut your aperture. So again, whatever size you want. I'm going for, well, actually, I end up using three sizes. So you have one size for your spinner. So I dropped down to this one here. So these are for this aperture, the large bit here. 
this circle was using the smaller one so we'll talk about that later so first of all i want to cut into my pattern paper so you just want to position it so you've got an equal amount either side so the white border on the sides is going to be slightly bigger to the white on the top here but just make sure it's even and they're going to sit this on here and i'm going to bring it down so it's about one inch from the white from the very top of my card it's about one inch down i just want to make sure it's in the middle there i'm going to use my tape and i'm just going to take a little bit of the stickiness off because i want to keep this solid piece and i'm going to like i said cut that again on that one but this is only if you want to have the same background because if you look here if i lay that down this is from this same piece of cardstock so it just kind of keeps that whole scene but you might be stamping or doing something completely different so i'm happy with where that's positioned let's just remove some of that stickiness tack that in place i'm just going to run that through my machine and then just carefully remove that so that will go on the spinny piece in the middle so now we've got this one here so we can now cut this one in half so i just grab my trimmer so you're going to cut this so it's two and three quarters so that'll be right through the middle make sure everything's nice and straight then we can stick these ones now on each side and then we'll just cut the aperture away because we'll be adding our frame to that if you're not bothered about having the spinny circle piece with the same pattern on here then you can just stick the two pieces of two and three quarter by five and three quarter so just like this just stick it down then die cut it but it's just because i want to create this different look and if you check out my spinner playlist you'll see all of the other ways that you can make this because i've done them with Christmas themes with a snowflake spinning. I've got little toppers spinning. I've got some flying pigs, I think, on one of them. So I've got quite a few different spinning cards on the channel. I've got a happy birthday one. There's quite a few now. Okay, then I can sit my circle down and it should kind of lock into place. Don't worry if it's a little bit out, like a couple of mil, because your frame is going to cover all of that up anyway but i can feel that that's locking itself in where it needs to be and then i can just lay my tape down and then just run that through my machine and because it's a six inch size it will fit through a standard cutting machine so that's cut nicely and then we'll pop the frame on towards the end but you'll see that will cover up all of that like so so now we're going to go on to this piece here so this is the die that we cut the original aperture with and that's the larger frame size i don't think i gave the measurements for these so let me just give you those now so for the smaller one there it was three and three quarter diameter and then the frame size is four and a quarter but now i'm using this smaller one which is three and three eighths ish three and a quarter you want it to be able to spin within this circle if it was the same size and it slightly shifted maybe when you stuck it down then it would catch you just wouldn't get that nice spin so i'm now going to drop this down so with this one i'm just going to sit it in the middle of this and just die cut that and then i'm going to die cut that same circle in this one here okay and i also i'm going to cut this piece which was from this main card. I'm just going to cut that so it's the same size just to reinforce so that these are paper when they're stuck together. I mean, it would probably be okay, but look, you can see it's still quite flimsy. Whereas if I stick a piece of 300 GSM in the middle, it's just going to strengthen it. So I'm just going to use that piece there. So I'm just going to stick one of these onto this circle. Like I said, just to reinforce it. If you're already using a thick card, then you won't need to do this doesn't really matter which way it is at this point i'm just going to let that dry so now i'm going to stick these two down here and i'm going to get those stuck onto the back as well so that's everything stuck down you can see how that looks now and that's the back so when you fold it that's going to be on the front 
when they take out the envelope and then opens that way. So you want to make sure if I flip it over, you'll have the plain one on the left and then the pattern one on the right. Okay, so I'm going to go back to these pieces now. So I've got my orangutan images here. I think they look so cool. And I've added googly eyes to them. When I've done the launch, I put googly eyes pretty much on everything. And then during the Facebook Live, someone mentioned about googly eyes on the ape. And then it reminded me, oh, I'll put them on this one. So what I've used for the, the string, the twine, is this here. Now, I picked up six of these for about 99p, 199 from the range a while ago now probably good over you know over a year maybe two years but someone did mention during the live that they still had them in there and i think they bought them the other day now this is the silver one you can see when it catches the light but there was like i said a pack of six of all different colors but it's really nice it's strong enough for this kind of project but you can use fishing line you can use someone mentioned about jewelry um you know bracelet clear plastic thread whatever it's called i don't know all the proper names but anything thin and anything that's clear, so elastic will work as well. You don't want to use a baker's twine. You don't want to use anything that has already been twisted because this is going to twist in all directions. So if it's something that's already twisted, it's going to unravel and then it's just not going to work. It won't look nice. So you want something that's just single thread, is it? I don't know. Anyway, now I like to use hot glue with mine. But um, if you don't want to use hot glue, then you can use like your 3D gels, um, you know, or even like your... Cosmic Shimmer or your Art Glitter Glue, or your Solvent Glue, so they're just going to take a little bit longer. But the good thing about the hot glue is that this will, it just gets kind of set inside the glue and it will definitely not move. So you want to cut yourself a piece that's long enough, you know, than the height of your card. I've got way too much here, but it's just easier for me to show you. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is with the one where I've just stuck the card, I just want to mark the middle or like the top for me so I'm just going to use this kind of what's it vine and I'm just going to do a very faint line down there you're not going to see any of this because we're going to cover it all I've then got some thin tape and I'm just going to run that over the top there take the backing off and then sit this through the middle keep it nice and straight so if you maybe stick the top down and then keep it nice and taut and just stick the bottom down onto it and then just sandwich it in between. This is going to stop it kind of shifting inside the circle because even when you add glue to this, you once you close it, you know, the glue like can shift and at least by adding this here, you've sandwiched it between and it isn't going to go anywhere and just burnish that as well. And take the top off of that and then I'm going to add my Kalao glue either side. Use a Beacon 3-in-1, that's a good glue. This glue is lovely because it dries rock hard and, sh and completely flat. So now I want to make sure I've got this oh, vine lined up the same there. Okay, so now you've got something like this. used to make these in school. Then I've got my hot glue and I'm going to add a bead of glue just on the score line. You don't need much. And then you want to sit this circle so that you've got an equal frame and then lay that into the hot glue for the minute. Keep it nice and taut. And then just as it cools and it's cool enough for you to touch, you want to flatten it and fold it at the same time. I forgot to fold it during the live because I was chatting away. That's how I've done it in my other videos. And it just means, because this card is going to be put in the envelope folded and you display it folded. So it will never open completely flat. But I can now work that and it's still warm. I can fold that around like so. So I'm just going to let that cool for a minute. Now also, if you want to, you can have it just as a dangle. So don't have the string going all the way through. You could trim it off even at this point if you changed your mind and it would just dangle in the middle there. But I want to keep this so that it spins. So I'm just now going to do the same at the other end. So keep it nice and straight. A little bead of glue there. I'm going to cover this as well. And then pull that nice and taut. 
keep it tall. And I'm going to push that down now because I can feel already that's cooled. And I'm just going to fold that one as well. So just give them a minute now to completely dry and set. But you can see already now you get a really nice spin. So that's everything dry now. I've trimmed off the edges. You can see that spins nicely and it's all going to fold into our envelope. So now I'm going to add the frame. So I folded it in half. And then I'm just going to use my quick grab glue on this one and just cover the back there like so. And then just follow the frame. And then I'm going to position each of my orangutans. They fit just perfectly. And spin that around. You don't have to have the same. But the whole point is that when it spins, you just see that, you know, that kind of one image. So he's going to be about there. Works quite well with that vine hanging down, actually. That was an accident. There you go. They're both in the same place. And then I'm going to finish it with the decoration. So I'm going to have everything the same as the other card. It's just a different colourway, but the sentiment is the same so just hanging around to say hi it's going to go just here i've got the go wild little sign there and then i've cut just slightly different colors of the leaves but i've got the bright pink flowers here to tie in with the bright pink and this hot pink as i call it it's one of my favorite colors works perfectly with the green tones and i've got some mirrored card there as well and I'm just going to use the hot glue to get that all stuck down. But just layer up all the different shades of green so they all kind of, you know, stand out against each other. So there's the finished card. I love it. So much shine and sparkle. You've got all that lovely texture from the embossing folders and the flowers and the leaves. And then you've got that movement with the, the little spinner piece there. So, you know, it's a nice one for people to just kind of play with. Like if they walk past it, you know, they can just kind of, you know, give it a spin. But what I would then recommend doing is wind it up. And then you'll know it'll start to get tight. Don't do it obviously too much because it will could break. And then you just fold up the card. That will then go in the envelope. And then when they take it out and open it up, it will spin. Like so. So there you have it. I'll bring back in this one as well. So you can just see exactly the same, same sentiments, but just slightly different papers, background papers. But still from that same six by six pad. And what else is different? All the flowers. But I love them both. I think they look gorgeous. So I hope you've enjoyed this spinner card idea from me today. I will share the playlist. It would have probably popped up at some point in the video anyway. Check out some of the tutorials now. I'll share some using this collection in the swing form. And I'll share one of the swing cards. Or sorry, one of the spinner cards as well. Spin, swing. They all look good. So check them out. You might want to watch those next. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed today's card, please hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell as well. If you click that, then you'll be notified every time I upload something new. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.